impatience has cheated many people be patient with nigeria too be let me repeat it be patient with nigeria too some of you are running to nations whose catastrophe is on the way coming to don't you think that the bible says darkness shall cover the one you have seen now is better at least you have seen it you can walk away around it the one you have not seen i i'm not saying don't travel abroad you, you understand what i'm saying save johnny you go if god is leading you there but there are many people who left living like kings in nigeria and went to live like slaves somewhere in the name and guise of greener pastures can i submit to you by the authority of scripture greener pastures is where god is There are poor people in every nation. There are wealthiest people. There, there are wealthy people in the poorest of nations, and they are wealthy by a global standard. Your portion comes through His Word. It does not just come by location. The last key, and then we'll wrap up. The last key that activates Bible believing faith is patience patience hebrews 6 12 patience hmm. that ye be not slothful but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises faith with patience most people are not patient on god can i tell you the truth there are times that god would seem to come for you immediately but there are times that god will connect his manifestation with the law of process and you will need time is god speaking to someone now because we live in a world of hurry sharp sharp if it does not happen immediately it is not god we want instant growth instant anointing instant maturity instant everything there are times that no matter how spiritual you are you will need to subscribe to the law of time and the reason why god allows time sometimes is because you are not yet matured and ready to receive that blessing so while it is in process coming he's training you and building your mind there are people today who if you check their prayer requests here what they wrote instead of them to write something gradually they can write something like 11 billion or 20 billion and the per you, you, and the person who is writing that kind of thing he has never held even one million of his own money i can tell you god is a god of speed but he's not a foolish god 11 billion for some people may be like recharge card but for some people that is what will send you to hell and God loves you too much his son died for your sins he's not going to just play with your salvation <laughs> 11 billion is a lot of money no matter how much money you have are we together 11 billions can 11 billion can do many things it can kill including you the holder of the money there are many things you have no business thinking about that it will force you to think about there are many places you have no business going that's what i mean by it can kill everybody say patience, patience. one more time say patience. patience listen to me this is where the devil cheats many of us i've said this for many years if god wants to give you just to use an example if god wants to give you one million next week satan will give you two hundred thousand now five five naira so that it will look plenty because you are in darkness you will not know it's five naira <laughs> you think you have so much money until you come to the light and you find out that you've been piling five five naira can i tell you every time you cannot wait 
for Isaac you will give birth to Ishmael every time you cannot wait for Isaac you will give birth to what will fight Isaac when he comes <laughs> it's true impatience has cheated many believers many believers two weeks to your breakthrough but you couldn't wait and you said Do you know what i'm resigning that job as soon as you just resigned they just told you that all the people in your level the company just had a breakthrough and they distributed all of them to go and be director somewhere you ran back and they say don't near this company again <laughs> just go don't near this place again i have learned the power of patience even in ministry you must be very patient with god as he makes you you must be patient with god as he builds you listen carefully i'm wrapping up now there are many of us right now the one problem you have is impatience you do not have the patience to allow the word of god manifest in your life that obsession for everything to happen now it may not be like that it is impatience that is driving many many young people in this country to get into practices what does money ritual seek to achieve it's impatience the person wants to become a billionaire overnight impatience impatience has pushed people to join gangs clubs demonic satanic organizations covenants that will plague their children and their children's children because of impatience listen to me we live in a world where when people see you and they say oh i was your classmate i was your this till now you don't have a car till now you don't have this and that usually you will feel indicted and you feel that pressure there is power in patience because you give god a chance to prepare a table before you and with honor bring you into seasons that will last are we together impatience is dangerous it has destroyed people it has destroyed ministries it has destroyed businesses it has destroyed relationships it has destroyed marriages it has destroyed families impatience you need to give god a chance for his word to work in your life i made up my mind that i will continue to press for the best of god but can i tell you every level where god has not brought me in i have no business going there whatever god has given me if god gives me a cup with tea and bread i will take it with honor while i wait for the day turkey will arrive you can force yourself to catch turkey somewhere and suffer because you don't have the backing of god you understand what i'm trying to say don't be under pressure to eat tomorrow today don't be under pressure to wear tomorrow today nigerians let's be careful africans let's be careful there are people who borrow everything borrow clothes borrow whatever the only thing you are permitted to borrow is vessels borrow vessels borrow not a few help that person please are we together get out of a fake life and be patient anybody who laughs at you if you can stay in one bedroom now stay there with honor and be saving the money that god is helping you with don't get faith is not foolishness the pressure to show that the world is working is what has driven a lot of people into trouble and beware of associations that force you to step into a tomorrow that god has not brought you there you have friends and they tell you they are going to an expensive restaurant some of them may have wealthy parents and they are going to spend five five hundred thousand that night five hundred thousand is all you have home and abroad don't make that mistake of carrying your destiny and making the mistake of esau are we together it's one of the prayers that i prayed for myself that god should never allow me succumb to the pressure 
of moving before my time and entering seasons that were not ordained of him it is powerful when god opens the door for you with honor and with nobility you will enter a door but you can force yourself and tire the door there there are people today who are in debt because they got into things that their faith level had not reached to prove a point if your child you cannot pay 3.5 million naira for the child look for a school that is within your range every range has a school fees that i mean there are people there who are giving their best are we together i say it respectfully especially for those of us who live in the fct here we have to be careful when i came into this city i found a spirit that makes people to do things that they have not yet gotten to there is a pressure to show that you are succeeding people will borrow a car borrow anything at all why fake what can be real be patient are we together you practice this that i've taught you tonight believe me ladies and gentlemen you will find your faith walking and you will see yourself walking in the supernatural in a way that will bless you these are not my opinions these are truths that i live by our fathers of faith have shown us this pathway it pays to follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise for someone god is speaking to you right now kill impatience in your life it's going to drive you into debt it will drive you into hypertension avoid unhealthy comparison avoid unhealthy comparison this one has this that one has that what of mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. you can be inspired but reject associations that put pressure on you anybody who cannot appreciate you the way they are the way you are it then means that you should not even be in those circles are we together there are many of us who are doing well respectfully speaking even as parents until we join certain groups that started putting pressure on our finances you were doing well and your wife is cooperating with you she knows that you don't earn so much and she's willing to be patient but we started joining all kinds of groups and associations that destroy our potential for growth it's always said to cut your coat according to your size it is true I know what I can do in ministry at this level. I know what I cannot do in ministry at this level. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not, I'm not embarrassed with growth. I will grow patiently to what God intends for me to be. I will never give myself sleepless night because of any of... No, 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 no. Is someone speaking to us now? Yes. Reject the pressure that comes with this world that we live in today. You mean at this level you are not in your own house? Maybe that can challenge you. It can inspire you. That's fine. But the moment it intimidates you and you say, no, between now and April, I must buy a house. I don't care how the money comes. Satan will say, what did you say? You are inviting me. And of course he will come. Let me challenge you. Not everything is receivable from people have the maturity to vet people before you receive things from them i'm not this is this is the house of the lord so you learn this before we pray even as a man of god there are people who have brought gifts for me and sometimes i look at what they want to give me and i look at the person i'm not belittling them but i understand the law of process where did this come from your mindset defends your results and there are things that when you want to do and you don't have a mental construct that defends it there is problem There are people who have wanted to give me certain gifts and I just blessed them and laughed over it and prayed on it and gave them back. Someone just comes and is looking like an arm and looks at you and says, here is the paper of an estate. And because your hand is always collecting everything, you collect something and by the next day, they say, don't talk, just follow us. You say, what? <laughs> just follow us. And you see, newspaper will not say they gave you a gift exposed you know journalists 
patience can save you a lot of things there are people they come to you and they say look there is something you can make money in two weeks you should be afraid already are we together you come and drop prayer requests here you see me kneeling down sweating and praying and you don't pay attention to that prayer you stand up and go somewhere and the moment someone tells you come let's go somewhere you are already look the bible gives us wisdom run away you get to a point of no return and start fraternizing with demon spirits dip your hand in blood eat human flesh go through dehumanizing things preachers listen our lives and even ministries in levels don't rush your season if god gives you 20 members teach them with honor teach them with your whole heart don't say apostle joshua Selman, whatever he's doing i must get that grace i can pray for you if it's not part of your call it will not work can i be honest with you i thank god for what god has done in ministry today but sincerely i stand before the god of heaven and he sees my heart if this is the only congregation that god gives me worldwide to be able to lead them it is an honor and a privilege i will lead and preach and shout like never before pressure impatience has cheated many people be patient with Nigeria too. Be, let me repeat it. Be patient with Nigeria too. Some of you are running to nations whose catastrophe is on the way coming too. Don't you think that the Bible says darkness shall cover? The one you have seen now is better. At least you have seen it. You can walk away around it. The one you have not seen. I, I'm not saying don't travel abroad. You, you understand what I'm saying? Save Johnny, you go if God is leading you there. But there are many people who left living like kings in Nigeria and went to live like slaves somewhere in the name and guise of greener pastures. Can I submit to you by the authority of scripture? Greener pastures is where God is. There are poor people in every nation. There are, wealthiest there, are, there are wealthy people in the poorest of nations. And they are wealthy by a global standard. Your portion comes through his word. It does not just come by location. I think I've said enough tonight. Rise up on your feet. Spare me two or three minutes and let's pray. This is important for your destiny we are going to be praying lord i am prepared to begin to command the supernatural in my life i'm tired of an ordinary christian life i'm tired of a life that is barren of results i want to begin to manifest extraordinary results in my life in a way that brings glory to the name of the lord lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice everywhere inside outside the overflows go ahead and pray shabakatoska de brandeke la haska de baya krateke de brandeke skosike te balaku sakra askidia is someone praying lord help my own belief let my faith come alive let my faith come alive in the name of jesus resting on the integrity of your word resting on your ability let my faith come alive i am ready to walk by faith live by faith talk by faith command results by faith pray just one more minute declare over your life every aspect of your life by the ministry of the word by the ministry of faith I'm commanding results in the name of Jesus. Results that bring glory to the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name I pray.